I guess I've shown in another video how much an armored personnel carrier can protect the personnel inside. But today we're gonna test something different. We're gonna see how a small grid APC like that one over there stands up against large grid artillery like this in super slow motion. Alright, here goes. Oof. And let's line the shell. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Alright. Here it goes. Oh. Huh. Where, where's the shell? Wait, what? Uh, I thought the shell would go all the way through. What's happening here? I think it got stopped by something. So it goes through this bit here and it stopped right here. Hmm. Alright, let's go back to real time now. Oh, alright, let's check the damage. So these are heavy armor. That's probably why it was able to stop it like that. But that was still surprising considering this is a small grid. And small grid heavy armor is relatively cheap to build as you can see there. Well, that's a surprise. There you go. You can see that this wheel is at 7% health here. That means the shell stop here. Alright, here's another test from a different angle. I did this earlier but I started the slow motion too late. Alright, here goes. And... Oh, look at that. Wait, what? Huh, that's weird. Tracking the shell here. And... Alright. This one actually went all the way through. And hmm, it's kind of weird how they keep getting pushed upward like that. And this time the shell went all the way through. It kind of damaged some things inside here. That's pretty cool to see. Here goes. Oh. Well. The passengers on this side are not gonna survive this one. I'm guessing this is like an overkill for a small vehicle like this. Well, I guess we learned that small grid heavy armor can be stronger than we expect. So yeah, that's how a small grid armor personnel carrier react to, I mean, reacts to getting shot by a large grid artillery on space engineers. Very nice. Look at this damage, by the way. This is crazy.